Yeah, I mean, the first thing you look for is, is the mentality, the professionalism. Uh, you've got to have a certain level of technique. You know, we don't want anybody to be on the field who is not capable of holding the ball in any spot of the field and being calm and dealing with it. You know, we're going to make turnovers, we're going to lose the ball, that's part of the game. But in general, guys, who are very comfortable on the ball. Uh, so that no matter what the situation is, they know exactly what we want to do. They're confident that they have the freedom to go out and do it. We're looking for, you know, any number of qualities. And, you know, you look everywhere. We're looking overseas, we're looking, we were down in Miami, David Irvin and I were down at the Combine in Miami, and in the spare time, when the rain finally stopped, we'd go to the different leagues to find players, players that I knew, players that I saw <clears throat> in the past year or two. Uh, you know, you gotta go and, and meet with them, meet with their advisors, meet with their family, and, uh, and do your homework. So as soon as we get back after the New Year's, we'll go out to LA again for MLS Combine and Draft. And you know, hopefully with the, the connections that David Irving and I have in MLS, you know, every year, as soon as the draft happens and the combine gets going, there's going to be a lot of movement and, uh, you know, you tend to get players through that, those networking connections, people you know, and say, hey, listen, we just signed X, Y, and Z, and that means A, B, and C are going to come available. And that doesn't mean that they're not good players, it just means that the situation has changed and, and you've got to, you got to be right there and you got to be, you know, in a position to someone whisper in your ear and say, uh, by the way, this guy's going to come free. You need to take a look at him. And you'll also get good recommendations. They'll tell the player, hey, this is where you should go. Those are the type of things that we're going to have to look for now. We're going to have to find the right guys. Sometimes you get them from agents, but most of the time you get them from other soccer people. You know, people that know you and people that know the player. And they can convince someone to come for a little bit less money, but because they're like, this is going to be the right environment for you, whether it's to move someone up to MLS or to hire or internationally or just somewhere it's the right thing for either them as a player or for their family. So in Tulsa and this situation here with the stadium and the facility and the apartments and the, and the community, you know, I would expect it's an ideal place for that type of person to come. So, uh, you know, it'll all, you'll, it'll all be happening pretty quickly in the next four or five weeks. So it'll be exciting and, you know, you got to be ready and you got to have your eyes and ears open.